All right, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm so lazy, I'm not gonna get the tripod out. Uh, well, I'm gonna find my scissors because apparently I've lost my scissors again. I hate blister packs because, first of all, they make your product look really cheap. Like, you know, Walmart. Makes it look like a Walmart product. Which is probably not the kind of thing that you're going for. Because these are not exactly what I would call cheap. I mean, this was about 70 bucks, not including the tax. Uh, which, again, is not exactly cheap. And, yeah. It's also very dangerous. I mean, look at that. That's kind of, uh, I mean, what, hap what would have happened if that had fallen off, flung up, and hit me in the eye? But do they care? No. Because, hey, it stops people from stealing stuff out of boxes on Walmart shelves. Alright, open that up. Get the SSD itself. Which is, uh, actually it's... It's light. It's a lot lighter than the package. Well, I think the package probably weighs about as much as the SSD does. In fact, I'm gonna figure that out. Let's find out if the package even weighs... does actually weigh as much as the SSD does. They give you... Well, I don't know what this is. It's probably a mounting bracket. Oh, that makes it a little bit thicker so it will fit into some caddies. But this it won't matter for this. And then you've got your information. And all that on the back. Alright, we've got a flatter surface now, so let's take a look. Let's start with a normal-sized hard drive. About 112 grams. Alright. So, how about the thinner hard drive? It's about 92 grams, so it's a little bit lighter. Now let's try the SSD. 56. I think you'll agree, the SSD is much lighter than a normal hard drive. I mean, in comparison, this is a 8mm uh, uh, tape, Video 8, and it weighs 47 grams. So it weighs almost as much as the SSD. And this is, this is light. This is plastic, and there are a couple metal parts in there, and, you know, metal oxide tape. I believe it's iron. Uh, something like that. Let's take the packaging. This plastic uh, crap. That weighs about 30 grams. Yeah, about 30. 29, we'll say. So, it weighs half as much as the SSD. Which, again, goes to show you that these SSDs are very, very lightweight. So let's get this set up, shall we? Alright, while this is strictly not a how-to video, I'm going to basically show you what I do, and maybe with a little bit of modification you can figure out how this will work for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, which is just an ordinary hard drive enclosure. You could use another one that you already have. Uh, but I'm going to take the SSD and I'm going to put this in here. It's going to be much smaller than an ordinary hard drive would be. It might not even fit. Okay, it'll fit. Hopefully. And I'm going to plug that in, and we're going to uh, fire up the beast. Alright, so we're logging in now. And what I've already done is I've gone ahead and I've moved all of the data onto a separate drive. Now, you don't have to do that. But it's probably a good idea because there's a good chance that your partition size, or the amount of data that you've got on your hard drive, is going to be more than the amount of data that you can put on your SSD. Which was the case here. I had something like probably 200, maybe even 300 gigabytes on that, uh, on the main drive in here. And uh, that's not going to fit on the SSD. The SSD is only 120 gigabytes. In fact, less than that. Once you check the formatted capacity, it's not going to show up here because I don't have it uh, formatted yet. I'm going to open up my backup program. You can use whatever you want. 
In this case, I'm using Magrium Reflect Disk Imaging and Backup, free version. So, it'll create disk images and it'll do all that fancy stuff. It wants me to update, we'll do that later because I don't need it for this. And uh, I got about 111.79. Okay, so we'll image. Oh, no, we won't image. We'll clone this disk. We'll select the disk to clone to. There's only one choice. We're going to use the source disk geometry. We're going to copy the partitions. And if all goes well, they will fit just fine, as is the case right here. If it all is not well, then they won't all fit, and you're going to have to do some uh, some more tweaking, probably by moving more data off of the drive. So we will take that option, hit finish. It will create a volume snapshot, and it will go through all of its, you know, the usual stuff that it goes through. And at the end, we should hopefully have a functional uh, booting operating system on the SSD. So I'll check back once this is finished. Checking file system, that's going to take forever. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I should mention. This process is not going to be fast. Even though you've got an SSD back there, you've still got a hard drive down here. So it's still going to take, you know, quite a bit of time in order to check the file system and actually clone all the data over. Despite the fact that you've now got an SSD and the SSD is what you are moving the data over to. And if that was a clumsy phrasing, well, it probably was. And, uh, <laughs> may I remind you that it is 3.04 in the morning on a Saturday.